For the second straight year, Pennsylvania lawmakers have passed a state budget on time. And for the second straight year, the spending plan includes no tax increases. House Republicans say it's a welcome and overdue trend. And what we had during the eight years of the previous administration was an unpredictable environment. People actually, entities ended up borrowing money, paying interest on that money, really not knowing from one day to the next where their budget was going. And I think we had a responsibility, we met our responsibility, and I'm very confident that we'll meet that responsibility as an on-time budget in the future. The $27.7 billion budget represents a 1.45% increase over the current fiscal year, but is still below the rate of inflation. House Republicans ensured that the cuts to education and human services in Governor Corbett's budget proposal were mostly, and in some cases, fully restored. This is a balanced, no frills, no new taxes proposal certainly fiscally responsible. The one issue I have heard from the citizens in my district is, please, no new taxes. Let me repeat that again. Please, no new taxes. It's certainly easy to criticize a budget, just like it's easy to spend other people's money. People of Pennsylvania have a choice. We can live within our means, or we can condemn our children and our grandchildren to servitude, to pay our bills for our lack of discipline. We can create incentives for able-bodied people to work and be productive, or can we can continue to incentivize destructive behavior and to erode the character of many of our people. We do have a choice today. We have the choice of fiscal responsibility or a return to the old normal of the Rendell years. I choose fiscal responsibility. For example, the new budget restores cuts to the Commonwealth's public universities and brings K-12 public education spending up to the same level as last year. That includes $100 million for accountability block grants to give school districts the flexibility to fund initiatives such as pre-kindergarten, full-day kindergarten, or other priorities. The new spending plan also restores $84 million in the governor's proposed 20% cut to county human service programs. Add $17.8 million to reduce the list for intellectually disabled individuals waiting to receive services and care. Restores funding for hospitals, trauma centers, and burn centers to the same levels as last year. In the past, this legislator, legislature played a shell game of manipulating money, spending money we did not have to reward special interests at the expense of the taxpayer. Well, the taxpayer is tapped out. They demand we spend within our means, and this is a fiscally responsible budget. This budget is responsible, it prioritizes hard-earned tax dollars, it takes care of the most vulnerable, it provides for public education, quality public education, and is targeted and lives within its means. Reporting from Harrisburg. I'm Anthony Tezak.